What's up guys, Zach Scott here playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time and I'm going to start doing something special for the next few episodes and that is I'm going to be buying the extras, the DLC, the microtransactions, whatever you want to call them, the bonuses uh, that you can actually purchase in the shop, the Plants vs. Zombies 2 shop. I'm going to be buying those as a way to show off uh, what you can acquire if you choose to pay real money. The Plants vs. Zombies 2 uh, game itself is free, and I think if you want to buy everything that it has to offer, at least during the initial release, it's going to be about $25 total, I think. I'm not too sure, but uh, I think that's kind of what I added up. But what I want to show off is I just bought the squash. This is an item that you can only get from their store right now. And uh, I actually got it with the starter bundle, which comes with a squash, a shovel bonus, and 5,000 coins. It was, I think, 499. I was reading some websites saying it was 549, so I'm not too sure on the exact cost. But if you look, there are a lot of plants here that are locked. And uh, each episode, I'll be showing off a new uh, plant that you can actually buy. Today, I'm showing off the squash. This is a way to say thank you for making this series one of my most popular on my Zack Scott Games channel. Every like and favorite you guys have left have, has definitely helped out. Uh, this the first episode of this series has over like 1.3 million views. It's my it's my fourth most viewed video right here on the Zack Scott Games channel. So we got that plant, the squash. It's squa uh, the squashes will smash the first zombie that gets close. It's 50. I think it can. Uh, I think you can actually get a couple different zombies but anyway uh and here are the upgrades some of these upgrades uh you'll you'll notice are ones that i have actually been unlocked uh just in normal gameplay uh, a couple of them are still locked and they it's kind of interesting how they do this uh, i'm just going to kind of explain it really quick the sun boost is one that i actually got just by playing the game it start with 25 extra sun in the bank and uh, same thing with the sun bonus, except the sun bonus you have to buy. So uh, I, I believe they can stack. I'll, I'll test it out right now. So I actually, with that uh, starter bundle for $4.99, I, I also got the uh, the shovel boost, which gets an extra additional 25% of sun cost back when shoveling up plants, which I have with the shovel perk already. So I believe those will stack. So let's just go ahead and uh, exit this now. And we're going to play a few different levels, uh, maybe one on each, each map, just to kind of show off how... Uh, how this works uh, the, the squash works and I'm not really sure which one I want to do uh, I guess we could do level level 11 maybe uh, what I did I click one I think I clicked one I wasn't paying attention oh my gosh where am I I clicked something yeah this is gonna be pretty brutal um, so I kind of want to show off this the squash and how it works except I think I picked the wrong thing so is there a way to exit the stage sorry <laughs> I forgot that level 11 was going to be like that. Uh, I forgot that the, they were going to dictate what plants you get in level 11. So let's go to level 10 and uh, just play, you know, play something. Hopefully this will be difficult enough to be, to you know, provide some sort of a challenge. But also fun enough to show off the squash and what all he can do. So let me add him in. Uh, also, don't forget about suns. I don't know what kind of, how many suns I'm going to need. Uh, it's been a while since I've played this. I think this is going to be good, though. Um, the Grave Buster would be a cool guy to bring here as well. And then ultimately, start bringing in some uh, trickier things, like uh, Winter Melons, hopefully. And uh, maybe even uh, Walnuts here would be good. Let's rock! Hopefully I have a good selection. I, I really don't know. It's been a while since I played this stage. So I'm going to show off you know, what the squash can do. Hopefully I can get some plant food and show off his superpowers as well. And we'll probably do like a level from each of the worlds. One Ancient Egypt, one for Pirate Seas, one for the Old West. And hopefully you can uh, uh, get to know get to know these plants before you know you make the decision whether or not you want to buy them. I you know I don't really I don't really have anything against buying them because if you think about it, this game is free and it's a great game. And pro the max that you can spend is going to be like what? $25? That's not a bad deal for such a great game. Uh, let me just sit him down really quick so you can see what he does. If you were familiar with the first game, you know what he does already. Mm. This is what he does. Boom! There we go. And uh, so that's pretty cool. I also have the bonus coins, as you can see in my inventory as well. And uh, the Grave Buster is going to be helpful. I'm going to try to get two rows, columns of plants here. Because I didn't really bring too much to the table here. I want to use him again really quick if I can. Come on. Send him right there. When that zombie gets close, he's going to freak out and go, huh? Like that. 
See? Pretty cool. And that zombie tried to eat him a little bit, but I'm glad he didn't. Um, let me go ahead and set that there. Grave Buster time right there. I think I'm not going to have any problem getting through this stage. And uh, this game, as I've proven, this game is not pay to win. Because uh, I beat this entire game completely without, you know, purchasing anything extra. So if, if you're the type of person who just wants to, you know, play a, an awesome free game and not, you know, worry about spending money, then go for it. Because this is a great game. And I think... I think you're gonna enjoy it either way either if you choose to do it like this or if you choose to uh, You know pay a little bit of money for extras. I think you're gonna have fun anyway But I do want to just kind of show off uh, These things in a video and I'm gonna have uh, superpowers soon. So uh, Please don't take those from me. All right, we got the plant food And there we go. I'm gonna put him here And this guy's gonna come up. I'm gonna power him up right now Whoa. And he goes back to where he was, so that's kind of cool. That's a, that's a cool feature I was not aware of. So you can actually power him up. He can go out and strike some guys and, you know. And he's just gonna be waiting there for more, for more guys to come by, I believe. Put that there. Okay, what are we what are we going up against? I hear something crazy coming through. Oh, this guy's gonna make more of those gravestones. I hate that so much. Ah, uh, man, that's okay. I'm not too worried about this level. I don't think I'm gonna lose or anything. Now, if I can kill this zombie before the squash sees him, then the squash won't even be activated. But there we go. The squash got angry. <laughs> he probably got angry at me. All right. Uh, just gonna start putting some stuff here. See, I don't think this is gonna be a problem at all. And that squash can squash like I think pretty much like a ton of different types of zombies. I don't. I think he's pretty powerful. I think that's the the real benefit of him is that he is that powerful. And uh, we are gonna go up against these whirlwind guys coming through right now. This is pretty awesome. All right. And oh, how can the squash? I wonder how he's gonna react to the pirate seas level. I guess we'll find out pretty soon. During the finale, I'm going to drop out a few different squashes. I'm going to put him here just in case something gets too close to him. Uh, I would hope that it doesn't, but, you know, it might. There we go. We're going to have a lot of plant food to use. So, yeah, he's going to get angry. He's going to go boom. And he took out two guys like that. That was awesome. And uh, let's see here. I'm going to, as soon as I get more sun, I'm going to put him down. Uh, just in time for the final wave, hopefully. And, okay, yeah, this guy's pretty strong. Let me just, let's just put him out right here and use plant food on him. Maybe he'll go take him out. Took him out. Oh, he's, he's cracked his shell once. Whoa, I don't even know where this guy's going. Look at him. And he returns back to where he was. Okay, do it again. Do it again. Go out there. Boom! Just randomly hitting some... I, I wonder if it's random. I wonder if he just automatically goes for, like, some of the strongest... I don't know. So you can see he's a pretty good item to have, especially since he's only 50, and he has a pretty, he only costs 50 sun is what I'm saying, and he, he uh, has a pretty good range. I'm going to save him for the finale though. In fact, I'm going to say, I'm going to put this guy in the back, and then I'm just going to use some, uh, some powerful stuff on him. There we go. In, uh, in future episodes of this, I'm going to try to do an episode per piece to kind of show off what these bonus items do. And then maybe at the end, I'll, I'll show off, like, all of them. <laughs> like, in conjunction with each other. That would be kind of cool. All right, this great buster guy is going to go here. See, I, I'm, I want to use him now. I, I don't want him around here. Boom, got him. Boom, got him. And he's going to return home. There we go. Let's give, let's give these guys, as soon as, uh, here we go. Let's use it right now. Go, go. Where are they going to go? They're going to take out a bunch of things, and then they will return just in time. There we go. That was pretty fun. And, oh, and he actually, he actually went because he got angry. He got too close. Well, there we go. We did that stage, completed it just fine with the squash. Had a thousand sun left over. 
Let's take him into a uh, Pirate Seas stage now and see how he performs. And then we'll take him into the Wild West, take out that Yeti. What do you guys say about that? I think that'll be pretty sweet. So Pirate Seas, let's go over to uh, level nine. Again, okay, I guess we'll do level nine on all these. <laughs> and uh, just to have some fun. Just so you guys can see what they what they are going to be able to do, what they're going to be up against. So we got barrel guys. Now, I just did a whole bunch. Last episode, I did a whole bunch. Last few episodes, I did a whole bunch of Pirate Seas stuff. And uh, had a lot of fun on the, on the challenge levels. And try to go like this. I'm going to kind of try to use my classic setup here. And don't forget the squash because that's the whole reason I'm bringing, bringing him in. Okay, let's rock with this. Hopefully this is good. I think you're going to see that my skills in the Pirate's Booty Challenge levels are really going to come in handy here. So, um, it's kind of weird. In the Plants vs. Zombies uh, news and stuff that I've read online, I've seen screenshots of different, uh, you know, different people playing. And sometimes people have different costs for these items down below. I don't know if they've been adjusted for, you know, maybe since I downloaded the Australian New Zealand version or whatever first. It's hard for me to tell. I just have no idea. Let's start them out. Let's start them out right here. Let's take them out early. How about that? I'm going to start off with a, uh, a bunch of snapdragons because I think that is very, very helpful. See, he's gone. He's just taken out so quick. So that's an angry squash. <laughs> Speaking of uh, angry stuff, Angry Birds Star Wars 2 is going to be coming out very soon. I will be playing that here on my channel. So do not worry about a thing because it'll be here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just keep planting stuff. Yeah, hopefully that's enough to take him out. That may not be enough. Actually, let's put that there just to play it safe. I am gonna try. Okay. Here, this is what this guy's for. He's kind of like the equivalent of a potato mine, except he's uh, a little more expensive. He costs twice as much. He doesn't take any charge up time, and he kills a lot of stuff super quick. Like no real delay, no waiting. And uh, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need to get my self into gear here. Probably did not need that walnut there because these two snapdragons are probably gonna be able to take care of them. Okay, we got two full columns of sun going on right now, so that's cool. Okay, hopefully that'll be good enough. That probably won't be. Here, you're gonna need him. Good thing I brought him along. Nice. Okay. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear, come on. Is he gonna eat the walnut? He might. There we go. These pirate guys are no match. Please take him out. Please take him out. There you go. These snapdragons are beauty. And um... When the going gets tough, I'll throw out one of the squash guys and then uh, you know, see what we can see what we can do with him. There we go. We're get, we're getting it going now. We're bringing out the uh, the repeaters. We have an entire column of these dragons to help deal with this. I'm kind of curious. Will this guy take out the seagull? That's a good question. I'm gonna put him here. See what happens. He might just plunk right into the water. He took the seagull out with him. That's great. Okay, so this e this is gonna be pretty good. I, I think the I, I think by themselves they cost two ninety nine each the pieces. Um, the starter bundle of course is a pretty good deal uh, relative. You get the five thousand coins and you get a few of the other things. Okay, so these guys are for real. These guys are for real. Don't please don't. Man, my bird. Okay, that bird took it. I can't believe it. That makes me angry. He's gonna put him right here. He's gonna go and stomp that captain immediately. Beautiful. I just don't like when they take my stuff like that, you know? There we go. So hopefully you guys can see how useful the squash can be. Oh, whoa. Okay, here. I, I am out. I need, okay. I need some more sun then if we're gonna do it that way. Boom, I almost forgot I brought along the spike rocks. Which are gonna be pretty helpful. 
Uh, I want to see what happens if I put him there and give him plant food. Is he going to go take out the cannons? Where's he going to go? Whoa. Yes, take out those little tiny imps. Give him some more. Give him some more work to do. Go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and then he returns. And uh, I could definitely use... Uh, okay. There we go. More spike rock. Blow up those barrels. Also do damage to them. Will you go over there and get... Can he, can he reach... Yes, he can reach the cannon. So that's cool. Squash is fairly helpful there. I don't know if I can get enough money. I can if I spend it all in here. There we go. Look at that. Actually, that's not where I want to go. I want to go right there with it. Come on. Give it to him. Boom! Took out, taking out those cannons. See, that is so cool. I, I don't really know of any other plant that can do that so quickly. Of course, I probably should have saved some of the plant food for right now. Uh, the, fi the final wave. But that's okay. Uh, these snapdragons have uh, the front lines pretty well covered. Except that those birds still take. Here you go. Go get them. Go get them. Go get them. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Those squashes are just stopping them. Look! He went all the way over there. Perfect. As you can see, the squash is a fairly helpful piece. And uh, let's go on to one more level. Ash is here petting the dog. <laughs> so let's check out the Wild West. Go track down this Yeti. Maybe have a squash take him out if possible. He's just, well, I don't know. Is this going to be the type of thing? Play level treasure Yeti. Uh, sure. Now, do I get to pick my pieces here? That's what I'm worried about. If I don't, then I'm not sure. I'm not sure what what the stage is all about. Ready, set, plant. So I do not get to pick my pieces, which is a little annoying. But I can. Uh, let's see. I, I wish I did, but I don't. Let's go ahead and start using uh, the sunflowers here. I'll go ahead and play this just to get the yeti out of the way, and then we'll take it. We'll. Do a, do a Wild West stage with the squash. We're coming. Go ahead and just go there for a second. Let me think this through a little bit. We have, uh, this guy probably needs the, uh, the melons, of course. There we go. This should keep him at ease. And, okay. So he's going to go over there and get hit with the potato mine. And I'm going to try to save up enough money, enough sun, to, to get some real powerful stuff going on here. Shouldn't it be much of a big deal to get a one of these, the repeaters. There we go. You know, I should have put him in the very back, but I think I'm going to save the very back for the winter melon. Yeah, because I can totally get him now, and then the top row guy as well. Focus a little bit more on getting sun. So if any of the zombies come on the bottom two rows... Then I will be able to. Uh, I should probably put another repeater down on the, this this track right here that I'm moving. There we go. Plant food. I'm uh, gonna. I'm in favor of always using plant food for more sun. And hopefully it doesn't come to it like that. But now if I can just save up enough. Okay, man, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be good. In fact, okay, that guy's taken care of. This guy's gonna be taken care of as well. We only have probably 200 away from getting a uh, winter melon in the very back row. So this is gonna be something, something to worry about for sure. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have a potato take him out. Yeah, I think that potato will be just fine. Hopefully, slow him down just a tiny bit with the winter melon. And then uh, just let, you know, let the potato do his job now. Okay, we got some serious stuff coming up right there. There we go. I'm trying to figure out what I need to worry about the most right now. Always use some more money. Okay, excellent. Hold on, we have enough for another potato mine. Let's 
So let's save it for that guy, of all guys. Okay, right there. Just focusing a little bit. And, okay. That potato mine is gonna totally get him. And now I'm just really trying to figure out what I want next. Oh dear. Oh, I didn't realize this is gonna be a big problem. Okay, you have to worry about chickens up here too, huh? Oh no. Oh god, okay, there we go, that was close. Two of my sunflowers went away. Come on, oh jeez. Okay, I don't like that at all. I can't believe that happened. My god. Okay, there we go. That was horrible again. Oh dear. Okay, so... Here's what we're gonna do. Electrocute everybody! Woo! What a good what a good use of that ability. <laughs> Thankfully I finally have some way to stop him. A little minor what? There we go, that was horrible. I misplaced that obviously. Oh my god, come on, you don't wanna do this to me! I don't think. Maybe he does. He's that cute! Oh dear. So now we're up against this Yeti fellow. We're gonna go ahead and just let Mother Nature take care of this guy. No, we're not. Never mind. I thought Mother Nature is in. You know. Oh dear. Okay. We are doing really horrible, just so you guys know. I did not mean to use a ton of coins like that. I just wasn't, I was ill prepared for this. I've been not used to this style of gameplay for a while, I guess. Where's he going? Is he dead? He's dead. Got the Yeti lunchbox. That's all that really matters. Stop eating him. There we go. Oh man, he switched, he switched sides. Well, let's just, uh, get rid of everybody. There we go. How's that for the final wave? <laughs> oh, boy. That was crazy. Okay. That was, uh, <laughs> that was pretty treacherous gameplay. What did we get? We got a diamond thousand, so not so bad. Collected, obviously. Now let's just do a stage where we want to show off the squash, because that was the original point of this video. So let's, uh, go to level eight why not and then we'll show off uh, the squash here and this doesn't look too bad I'm gonna want lightning though uh, for real uh, lightning would be good uh, these guys would ultimately be good spike weeds are always good uh, maybe walnuts actually how about these guys and these guys we can get some serious momentum going that'll be really cool but wait, you guys know what I want. I want squash. Um, sure, let's bring in that. That looks like an interesting combo of items. I don't know if this is gonna be purely ideal. <laughs> Probably gonna be pretty scary to put all this stuff in, but that's okay. We have we have a ton of coins to use if we if we mess up. So <laughs> let's do it. Zombies. Zombies are coming, guys. I'm just gonna build up my uh, my son right now. Actually, that's probably good enough. 
Put that there. I want to save up. I need a double. If, I, if I'm going to bring a double sunflower, I better use it. There we go. Don't know what I was thinking. There you go. Crunch. And then a lightning right there. That should be pretty good. I want to put in another double sunflower, obviously. There we go. That was worrying me a little bit. I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to take him out. Made a lightning mistake. I think we're going to be pretty good. Don't forget I brought a squash to the battle. Battlefield. Come on, take out these guys already. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and take him out right there. The squash did it. No, please don't. Please don't take that. Please don't eat him. Please don't. Whatever. I bought him out. Come on. Oh my god. These are doing pretty good. <laughs> and we might need something like this for him. That's looking pretty good. Man, oh man, okay, there we go. I'm just now getting into the swing of things, trying to adjust to the Wild West way of doing things. Oh. The music here is always pretty fun. Let's just put a flower there. <laughs> That's funny to me. Okay, let's go ahead and... Uh, Plant food on these guys is going to be my personal pick. Put him there, take him out. There we go, beautiful. I think this is going to shape up to be pretty good, honestly. This is an interesting strategy. The spikes are going to block the chicken, or kill the chickens pretty much instantly as they come across. And we're gonna dig up stuff. Oh man, we almost had enough. There we go, we do have enough now. Oh, look at all the sun! Holy moly. Now look, these are all gonna just go go away. Boom, with the spikes. Perfect. You know what I should have done? I should have put, I should, I should put one of these guys here. Use some plant food. Have them, send them out. Go stomp on some guys. Look at that, beautiful. There's two in the middle of the field somewhere. <laughs> So cool. Okay, let's go ahead and dig up. Okay, uh, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty sweet. Let's dig up that guy really quick. And sure, let's start putting down another column of these spike rocks. Why not? Look at all the sun we're gonna be getting. This like spike rock, uh, snapdragon, walnut combo is like pretty strong, I think. Especially against this stage, lightning in the background just for effects, really. And then this little angry squash in the back, in case I get some more plant food and am willing to use some to uh, kind of track people down. Wow, I have got, I've got a lot. I've got a lot. A lot of sun right now. Here we go, I'm gonna use him during the final wave. To send some people out. Like, go get him. Look at this. This is crazy. I'm just, I'm just putting this spike rock out there, like, so quick. My goodness. It's like no big deal at all. It's just like... 
and like we can really speed things up. We can use some plant food. Let's use plant foods for something really stupid in just a second. As soon as I plant uh, another spike rock, I'm gonna use plant food to get to have it recharge, which is the dumbest thing ever. But I did it just for fun. Now I have all three columns of spike rock. Here, let's uh. No, I don't. I don't see any more plant food out here. If we can, okay, here we go. And that is that is so brutal to walk through. Imagine walking through that in real life. <laughs> With, with with fire breathing plants on the other end. Okay, check this out. Put him there. I'm gonna get more plant food. I'm gonna send two of them out at the same time. Check it out. Here we go. Go get him, squash. Squash number one and two. Go, go. Look at this. Boom, boom. Totally shredded him. Look at that. That is beautiful. Well, that's how you use squash in Plants vs Zombies 2. That's if you want to buy it. If you don't mind it. Then, uh, anyway, come back next time. We'll show off some more plants. There's at least five more plants we have to unlock through the store that I really want to show you guys how to use and uh, show you their effects. I figure if you watch all my videos on these plants to see what they do, uh, it might help you make a decision whether or not you want to buy any of them. Uh, or if you, know, if you don't want to buy any of them, at least you got to see them in an action. So, come back next time for more. I'll see you then. Goodbye. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thanks so much for watching and check out these other awesome videos. See you next time.